welcome back to the vlog and today we're at Silverstone um, awesome track obviously never been round the national circuit before um, and that's what we're on today and for the weekend so quite a small uh, track um, but it should be very fast so obviously first practice um, is out quite soon we've got a new piston in so just I don't know the first couple of laps just a little bit steady uh, maybe just short shift a little bit um, had it obviously running on a stand for a bit so yeah, first session, just take it steady, learn the track, see how we get on, and then yeah, for later on for today, we'll push a bit harder and see what lap times we can do. So that is practice number one done. Um, and yeah, it's going all right. Uh, the exhaust springs seem to disappear somewhere. Um, so the exhaust just come away from the engine. So I managed to just push it back on and uh, yeah, get back to the pit lane. Um, so yeah, I didn't get to do all the laps, but sort of the first four or five laps, I think it was, um, just didn't go over like 12,000 revs, just like short shifted everything. Uh, and then the last two laps I think I've done, just yeah, sort of increased the speed a little bit more, give it some more revs. Um, and yeah, cart felt quite good. Um, tracks, it's all right. <laughs> a little bit boring at the minute in that because it's just fast for a lot of it, and yeah, there's not like many corners. But hopefully, when we can get out there with like another one, two, five or something, we can have like a nice little battle. Um, and yeah, see how we get on. But say so no changes to be made. Just say so get the exhaust back on, uh, new springs. See if we can make sure they stay on. 
and then yeah just get ready for the second practice So we have finished the second session and again didn't end too well, um, motor has nipped up so yeah um, we believe the big end's actually gone on the engine so it's going to need a full rebuild so we have got a spare with us um, and that is now going on um, but it hasn't actually been ran in yet so we'll have to just take the next session a little bit steady um, and yeah just hope the engine actually works and runs. Uh, pace wise in that one's actually quite good though. We Obviously, work by ourselves, so no tow. Um, yeah, and around here, tow will definitely make a difference. But yeah, by ourselves, I think we've done a one minute point nine, um, which is only like point two or three off the lap record um, set. So I believe the lap record is going to get smashed this weekend. Um, and actually, if we're in a race and a bit of a train, then yeah, hopefully we'll be able to pull each other along a bit and yeah, bring the lap time down. But pace is there. Um, car feels really good, so. Just hopefully this new motor is uh, going to be just as good.
So session three has finished now and went all right. Um, again, just another little glitch uh, on the first lap. Uh, just cut out on me, so I managed to get it back into the pit lane. Um, pit lane's a lot longer than, say, I ever uh, remembered, so I had to run it quite a long way. Um, and then just found out, so the little wire was off, so yeah, got it back on, uh, went out and just made sure it was running. Um, some steady laps, didn't go over 13,000 revs, so yeah, ran all right. Yeah, not sure about the gearing at the minute. It definitely seems a bit shorter. Um, and I'm hitting sixth gear a lot earlier than I was on the other engine. So we are going to go out in the last one um, and just say push for a couple of laps, see if the gearing's right um, and whether we need to change it or not. We did look at the weather and it is saying we've got rain um, Saturday and Sunday. So yeah, we're not going to bother changing the gearing now because it might be right um, for when it rains. But yeah, cart's now running. Um, Engine's running all right, so we'll go out in the last one and see if we can improve on our lap time. So the fourth and final session is now done for the day and yeah, cart ran a lot better in that one. Um, according to our Micron, um, if it is correct, we did actually beat the lap record. Um, we done a 59.4, so that is a second off of it. Um, 
yeah, whether it's true or not, we're not sure. Car definitely felt good. Uh, gearing actually didn't feel that bad, so I think sixth gear just feels a bit longer um, on this motor. So I managed to pull fourth gear uh, through like the last corner compared to third gear on the other engine. So hopefully that can actually give us a bit more. That might have been the difference to drop us under a minute, but I guess we'll find out come practice and quality tomorrow when it's timed, um, whether the pace is true or not. But yeah, cart felt good. Um, session did get red flagged, so we came into the pits and just decided because it was actually still running, uh, we'll just go park it up for the day. Obviously they did restart, but yeah, we didn't decide to take the restart. We just thought while the cart is running, uh, keep it that way. And yeah, now it's just sort of stripping it down, just checking it over. Uh, ready for tomorrow. We've got practice in the morning and then quali later on and if I'm correct because there's 60 carts on the grid for qualifying and then we're getting mixed into groups for the racing uh, qualifying is going to determine the grid um, your starting place for every race we do uh, so it's not going to be like just for the first race and then on that result so yeah qualifying is going to be quite important um, tomorrow to give us the grid slot for every race and obviously we want a decent starting position for the O plate uh, race at the end of the day so Saturday is here um, and it's time for practice very shortly um, has just started raining and it's now come down quite heavy so the wet tyres are ready um, not sure if to put a new set on or go old at the minute last time at Snapton when it did rain we put some very old tyres on um, and the cart just handled horrendously now I don't know if that was just me trying to get used to it or whether it was the tyres so I think we might go and put some brand new wets on uh, just so I can actually see what it's going to feel like um, and then that way I can't blame the tyre so if I am struggling then I know it's me um, and I've got to find something to work on um, but it's only practice so we'll just take it steady build up my confidence and yeah, see what it's like, but I think it's going to rain even heavier, so obviously for quality later, um, it's probably going to be wet, so yeah, good learning curve, um, and yeah, let's just see if we can put in some decent times.
So first practice uh, is complete and we ended up 21st overall out of 50 drivers, um, but first in class. So uh, happy with the pace considering it was wet and at Snetterton we sort of struggled in the wet. Um, yeah, I started off quite slow and just built up my pace uh, as we went along. Um, and yeah, just found like the corners I could push it on a little bit more. Still definitely think I've got some more to give. Um, but yeah, just obviously didn't want to do anything silly, spin, crash. Uh, and yeah, so obviously it's supposed to dry up a little bit um, later, but then I did see a chance of rain um, before qualifying. So yeah, not sure what it's going to be like later. Obviously if it's dry, we know we've got all right pace. Um, and obviously yeah, from the practice, even if it's wet, we've got all right pace. So hopefully, uh, no matter what the conditions, um, we can obviously fight for the pole. Um, and yeah, get a good starting position for all the races because uh, qualifying is quite important for this weekend because uh, yeah, you do start uh, every race where you qualify. So, got to make sure we get a good qualifying. Um, and then, yeah, say so hopefully tomorrow for the races we can have um, some good luck. done and we finished 33rd overall and second in class but less than a tenth off the pole in our class so happy with that um, technically got held up on like every lap I had um, battling with other people but obviously so did everyone else there's like 60 carts out there on the grid uh, tracks only small so 
didn't really expect to get many clear laps. When I finally did, uh, the rain had obviously come down too hard and it did start to act playing down the back straight. Um, I think I've still put in a lap that was only like three tenths off of my best, so I definitely had more to give. Um, if you're happy with the result, it means we're starting around um, the same place as the other people in our class, so yeah, looking forward to tomorrow. Um, hopefully, the weather dies down a little bit because yeah, it's very wet out there now, um, and it was actually very hard to see. And I wouldn't want to be going into the first corner with yeah, 50 carts on the grid, yeah, not being able to see who's where. So. Happy with how it went, um, just going to look over the cart now. So the cart actually felt really good out there, it handled really well, so yeah, uh, looking forward to tomorrow.
So race one is finished and weren't quite the result we wanted. Um, we took a gamble and went for the slick tyre thinking the track would dry out. And um, obviously we had a race out before us. Um, obviously they'd all be on treaded tyres so hopefully they were going to clear the track. Um, got to the grid and most people were already on wets and most of the ones that were on slicks decided to change. So yeah, um, we finished fourth in class but basically right at the back. Um, so yeah, point wise not ideal but um, yeah we've learned track definitely didn't seem to dry out at all so obviously hopefully by later on today they'll be dry so we can say put the slicks on and see how we get on um, but yeah had a little crack in the exhaust as well so that's now just been uh, braised back up um, and yeah that's now back on so just yeah get the cart ready for later and hopefully we can have a better race
that is the second race done and a lot better race for me um, obviously got a better start this time went into the first corner uh, managed to stay out of the trouble round the outside and actually took the lead in class um, and then yeah just put some good laps together pulled quite a big gap uh, to the one two fives behind me and um, yeah just kept trying to push and push a couple of like 250s or 450s were like coming past um, so sort of one of them I kept getting held up a little bit by some of them will come past just trying to use their toe to pull away um, and then yeah the 125 caught me up um, had a good little battle he managed to get past me um, and then yeah just managed to stay in his toe had a sort of a look at where we were quicker or where the toe was helping um, realized using his pit board uh, that we're actually on the last lap so just wanted to stay with him going down the back straight and the goal was whatever side he went, I was going to go the other. Um, and obviously he went down sort of on the middle to the inside. And yeah, as he braked, my goal was just to uh, brake later. Um, and yeah, I managed to brake later, go around the outside and bring it home and all for the win. So yeah, can't complain on how the race went. His car is very quick. Um, Pierre in the toe, so they managed to just keep up. So O plate race next. Um, hopefully we can do the same, but it's definitely going to be a lot harder in this one, I believe. So. But yeah, if I can uh, stay with him when he comes past, use his toe, we might be able to pull it off. Um, but yeah, happy with the result and not sure where that will actually put us um, for the club championship um, points overall for today. Um, but yeah, we'll find out.
So as I was editing the video, I can't actually find the last clip of me speaking about how the opaque race went. So I'll see. Let's do it again. Um, so yeah, as the race started, I didn't get a great start. I dropped down to about fourth in class, and uh, from then knew I had my work cut out if I wanted to uh, win the O plate. Um, so the first couple of laps, I was just trying to push as hard as I could, keep up with um, as many as the one two fives as possible, try and keep the gap I had, and then obviously close up. Every time a two fifty or four fifty or anything was sort of slowing me up, I tried to go straight past it. Um, but say so there was one. Uh, I think there was a 450 out there that say just kept getting in the way constantly. Obviously, he'd drive past me in a straight line, um, but obviously, he was quite a bit slower than me for a corner, so definitely lost me time battling with him. Um, but yeah, finally got through and then started chasing. Um, I know one of the 125s had a bit of an off. Uh, obviously, hope he is well um, and obviously can get his car fixed in time, um, obviously, for the next race or meeting. Um, but yeah, so then obviously as the race went on, uh, it started to rain, literally turns one, two and three. Um, so definitely got a bit slippery. Um, and I did notice that on one lap, had a bit of a moment going in, but managed to save it. Saw quite a few people uh, also spin off there as well. So that I say, um, just trying to work out how hard you could push into there. Um, obviously didn't want to make a mistake and then cost any chance of winning the race. So I say, yeah, race went on and I slowly started to catch up with the leader. Um, and just kept pushing and pushing again. I used his uh, pit board to see how many laps we'd done and try and obviously work out how many we had been doing to obviously how many laps we had left. And I realised I was slowly running out of time, so I really pushed hard on like the last two laps, just to say gave it everything I had, and yeah, started to catch him up. Um, and then the last two laps, uh, going onto the back straight, we kept going like on the normal on the normal line and. Um, yeah, just kept like understeering and pushing on where it got uh, quite damp. So I sort of worked that out and onto the or on the last lap as he went in tight. I um, braked early, went down uh, some gears early to try and get like the cut back, get the power on early. So obviously he got me going in. Um, but obviously because I managed to get it turned and started accelerating sooner. Um, obviously I was having a better drive out. So going down the straight, just started like, getting the run on him. Um, I see him have a quick look. So I quickly went to like the middle behind him. Um, and I was expecting him to obviously think what I'd done in the race before, uh, where I went around the outside. So this time I thought, let's try the inside. I managed to just get the run, got up the inside of him. He did start to like move over to try and obviously squeeze me, so I didn't have much of a gap. But obviously just kept my cart there. And then obviously as he started to move back over, I took a bit of the gap away. Um, obviously I could see a cart in front. Um, and it was obviously, I don't know what would happen, whether they were slowing up or had a mechanical, but we were catching uh, quite fast, so it was always going to be um, a bit close going into the corner, but obviously I had to do it, I had to try and commit. So, I, so as I braked, uh, I see him, or his nose just come like past me again, so obviously I let off the brake, um, made sure I managed to like get back past him, and then just try to get the cart stopped. Um, I had it locked up, I had it sort of going sideways, uh, yeah, the whole thing was just sliding and we were just getting closer and closer to the car in front. Um, luckily, managed to get it stopped just in time. Um, but I believe, um, as I obviously went up the inside, he tried to stay on the outside of me and actually hit the back um, of the car that we almost went into the side of. So that obviously gave me a bit of a gap. Um, and then, yeah, obviously just that was the last or second to last corner. So um, just obviously made it to the line. And then, yeah, won obviously the O plate, which going into the weekend was obviously the goal. Um, but we knew it also wasn't going to be easy with it being my first year. And yeah, they like, so like can't be any happier. Practice day didn't go the best. Um, but obviously at the end of the day, got the result we wanted uh, come the final race. So yeah, over the moon. Um, obviously, just want to say thank you to everyone that has obviously supported me so far. Everyone on the Supercar Grid for giving me advice, help. Um, and yeah, it's just say like, really like been a really good time. Looking forward to obviously the last race of this year. Um, and yeah, let's obviously just see what next year brings. Not quite sure what we're going for yet. Um, but yeah, awesome weekend. Thank you to say everyone that's helped along the way.